Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's start with the concept of valency. Why do atoms combine? Atoms tend to combine with one another to attain a stable state. So what is this stable state? Let me explain. If the atoms have only one shell, then a stable state is achieved when two electrons are present in it. This is called a duplet. But if the atoms have two or more than two shells, then the stable state is achieved when the outermost shell contains eight electrons. This is called an octet. This stable state is only found in a few elements like helium, neon, argon, etc., which are called as the inert gases. Hence, these elements do not combine with any atom. The atoms of all elements other than these inert gases combine because they have incomplete valence shells. And this process enables them to attain a stable state. Now, let us understand what a valence shell is. The outermost shell of an atom is called its valence shell. And the electrons present in the valence shell are called as the valence electrons. The chemical properties of elements are decided by these valence electrons since they are the ones that take part in chemical reactions. So how do atoms of elements attain a stable state? Let's explore. This is achieved either by giving electrons, taking electrons or sharing of electrons with other atoms of the same element or another element. So do you know what this concept is called as? Yes, it is called as valency. Now let us understand this concept in detail. Valency of an element is the combining capacity of that element with other elements and is equal to the number of electrons that take part in a chemical reaction. If the atoms have 1, 2 or 3 valence electrons, then their valencies will be equal to the number of valence electrons that is 1, 2 or 3. And if the atoms have 4, 5, 6 or 7 valence electrons, then their valencies can be calculated by subtracting the number of valence electrons from 8. So we get the valencies as 4, 3, 2 and 1. Let us take simple examples to understand this concept. So let's find the valency of oxygen. The electronic configuration of oxygen is 2, 6. This means that it has 6 electrons in its outermost shell. So how many electrons are needed to complete the octet? Yes, you are right if you said two electrons. Thus, the valency of oxygen is two. It accepts two electrons from other atoms for completing the octet. Now tell me what will be the valency of magnesium? The electronic configuration of magnesium is two, eight, two. This means that it has two electrons in its outermost shell. So how many electrons are needed to complete the octet? Yes, you are absolutely right if you said six electrons. But which atom will give away six electrons so easily? So here, instead of gaining electrons from any other atom, magnesium will donate its electrons to attain stability. Hence, magnesium donates its two valence electrons as gaining six electrons from any other atom is difficult and hence completes its octet. So the valency of magnesium is two. Now let's take the example of a water molecule. One atom of oxygen combines with two atoms of hydrogen to give one molecule of water. The valency of oxygen is 2, while that of hydrogen 
is 1. Oxygen needs 2 electrons and hydrogen needs 1 electron to attain a stable state. Here you will see that both the atoms need electrons. So one atom of oxygen combines with two atoms of hydrogen to form a molecule of water. The electrons are shared between the two elements to fill the outer shell of each, making both the elements more stable. This is how atoms with different valencies combine with each other to form compounds. We encourage you to explore the summary created as a brain-friendly mind map which provides a quick insight into what we have learnt. The following assessment is the key to gauge what we have imbibed. Kudos to you if you have managed to answer all. If not, revisiting the tutorial will help reinforce concepts.